Hello and welcome to episode 72 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now those of you who watched the last Master League Story Mode episode will know that I've got a bit of news about this series. And uh, basically it all boils down to PES 19 is a month away. I'm a very busy man. I want to come in strong for PES 19. I'm so excited. Obviously I got to play it. I'm not showing off, but I did. And it's going to be epic. I'm pretty sure of it. Especially Master League and Become a Legend. I really think they're going to be good this year. I really pray they are anyway. But I've got a few things I need to prepare. And uh, at the moment with four videos a week, that's a little bit tricky to find any time. So with just about five or six weeks, so uh, well in this case it's going to be five or six episodes, I'm going to move to only one Become a Legend episode a week. So I'll be coming out today on a Wednesday. But what I am going to try and do is drop in a couple of Become a Legend streams before the end of... Uh, the PES 18 content on this channel, so don't worry, you'll still get your fair share of Gabby. It's just I'm not going to be releasing a Sunday episode, but what I'm going to do as well, as I will in this episode, is show some highlights of the games that I play in between. So we're going to try and move things along quickly. I want to get to a World Cup. I want to win an international tournament with Brazil, with Gabby. Hopefully we can set that up to do that in a stream. So uh, yeah, so nothing for you on a Sunday with Gabby in, and that is a shame, I have to say. But, you know, not long now to PES 19 and a new Become a Legend story mode star. I've got some ideas some exciting ideas, and uh, I think I might have already chosen who it is, and normally that would go to the vote. I'm not sure it will, because I'm that excited about this boy, but all the little, little clue there, it is a boy, And um, but what I might allow the vote to be on is which club he goes to. So again, remember, if you want to have a decision on what happens on this channel, you get to vote on the big, big choices, like the new team that we'll be playing with, the new manager, the new player, then you can support this channel on Patreon, and only a dollar a month. One dollar. That's less than a pound for you Brits. Or less than a... No, I don't know any other currencies. But it's... I, I feel like it's worth it. And you will get to have a big say, especially at the beginning of both series. It's really the best time to be a patron. So go and have a look. This link is in the description. And uh, if you want to support this channel, I would really love it. But if not, I'm cool with that. We're cool still. Just watch and comment and like. And we're good anyway. As I said, I will be playing games in between the big games. We've got a big game today by Munich. Uh, so after the um, international games where Brazil fairly comfortably qualified for the World Cup, we then went on to have two very disappointing games in La Liga. It's a one-all draw with Ibar. Gabi did score, but frankly the team performance was awful. And then Celta Vigo was a real shame. Good side, Celta Vigo. Emre Moore playing for them. It's a player we know well. And we couldn't, we just couldn't get anything together. Really, really struggled to create chances. So uh, we need to get that out of our heads now for today's game against Bayern Munich. Because as we know in the group, we've still got a lot of work to do. And I think we are going to go in and play Atletico Bilbao. Uh, I'll probably skip Levante. And in the next episode, we'll play Madrid. And if we need to, Zagreb, hopefully we don't need to. We've got a good run of games here. But, you know, there will be some sections, you know, maybe these four teams here that we could skip. Although we do have cup games. Anyway, we'll try and get through it. Hopefully I'm going to do a long stream as well to get through some of these games, and I do always enjoy a stream. So a quick reminder in the league, we're three points behind Barcelona, still doing okay, pretty much. The two draws have seen us drop down slightly. And in the group, well, we need a win today. Bayern Munich, not really our biggest problem. But Schickta sneaking up on us, we need to make sure when we play them again that we don't slip up. But obviously a three points here against Bayern Munich would be nice, but away at Munich, who are yet to lose against the Real Madrid side, struggling for confidence, this could be tricky. Take a look at the sides today. Well, Ronaldo's back in. Bale and Ronaldo out on the wings. Everyone on good form. We're looking strong. Got to say, this is pretty positive. Obviously, we're up against a powerhouse of European football. And we've got Alaba Vidal playing at right back. Boateng and Javi Martinez to deal with. Not the best keeper, though. 74 rate keeper. They've also got Tolisso and Strootman. I mean, that is going to be hard to break down at the best of times. And obviously, Lewandowski at the other end. Can give anyone in the world trouble. <sighs> Right, well, we need to play a lot better than we have recently. So obviously it is going to be the next head-to-head -head against Besiktas that probably decides this group, but we can give ourselves a much better chance if we get a win today against Bayern Munich. But this is going to be a big stretch. They've been the form side in this group. Real Madrid have been stuttering. I mean, we're still there or thereabouts. We're second in the group, let's not forget. We're third in La Liga, so we're not doing badly, but we I feel like we haven't quite clicked properly. Gabi has linked up well with Isco, definitely. Bale and Ronaldo, the relationship hasn't quite been there. Can we find it today? Come on then. Oh, Ronaldo, great header on. And now Gabby. No one with him. Sees the run overlapping from Gareth Bale. Ronaldo and Gabby in the box. It's flighted up to Ronaldo. Lovely header. And there he is. The man mountain. The Greek god of a man. 
pops up with a, uh, a header in only the style that he can. Gabby had made a good run, but it wasn't necessary here. And finally, we get to see a bit of Cristiano Ronaldo doing what he does best. Rising high. They call him the uh, Portuguese Tim Cahill, I believe. Nice ball into Gabby. Strootman's there with him, but he can't stay. And he's away from Boating as well. Has to play it back out, though, to Ronaldo. Good footwork there. Finds Gabby again. Oh, Rodriguez nearly nicks it back. We're overplaying it here, but we'll keep it moving. Carvajal puts it in. Oh, Ronaldo. Nice idea. This go out to Ronaldo. Gabby looking to drop deep here, but it's fired in towards Gareth Bale. His header saved off the line. What a save that was. Oh, Gabby. Defending like a man possessed. Now Cruz. Out to Bale. Gabby's made a great run here. If we can be found. Oh, that's not the right move. Good first touch to take it down. Didn't want to be shooting from that angle. Still great work to win it back. Gabby wants it first time from Gareth Bale. Steps inside of Javi Martinez. And inside of Vidal. Threw on goal here. Hits it with the left. Oh, it's off the bar. Oh, it's off both posts. It would have been goal of the season. Potential there, I would have said. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, James Rodriguez. Sold Marcelo the dummy. Now he cuts back in onto the left. Lewandowski's there with Varane. Great header. With his feet planted. The keeper was equal. Well, a good half here. I can't believe that, though. That chance for Gabby at the end. You might be able to hear my voice that I'm trying to keep the noise down a little bit. I do have a sleeping baby not far away from me. And it was hard to keep it down there. Beating Vidal and Javi Martinez with ease. Cutting inside. Off one post, off the other. I thought surely Gabby had to get his goal today. It would have been great to have another goal as well before the half because you can't imagine that Bayern Munich will come out in the second half and give away so much possession and have so few chances. I don't think that's going to happen. So we need to take a goal early on in this second half just to settle the nerves because we need these three points. Come on. And now he's going. That's a poor ball. And Lewandowski now will have a chance to put in Iron Robin over the top. Oh, and the Dutchman can't beat the keeper. That's a great chance for him, though. Gabby, first time into Gareth Bale. Wants to return here, but Cruz will find him. Oh, Talisa, that's a bit heavy-handed, surely. Isco now, ball wide, looking for Ronaldo. He'll reach for it. Oof. Difficult chance. I think there was a foul in there, wasn't there, surely? Bayern putting us under a lot of pressure here. I'm trying to pass our way out of it, just to relieve some of that pressure. They're making it very difficult here, and Gabby makes the mistake. Now Lewandowski, Bayern Munich have certainly got the momentum with them. Javi Martinez. Bit of time for him. Gabby's run his socks off. Almost dead here. Nine minutes left. Oh, Marcelo, though. Great first touch. Master of the first touch. We can relieve a bit of pressure. As Gareth Braille brings it forward. Didn't want it there, but we'll accept it. Keep it moving. That's good passing. Hulk on as a substitute. Finds Vidal. Real Madrid looking to sit back and soak up the pressure here. With only a minute left. Vidal can turn, put a ball in. Hulk's there with the header. Easy save. Let's take this thing out of this one. It's been a very uneventful second half. But ultimately, if we can hang on here for another 60 seconds, we've done what we really needed to do today, which is get the three points. No point in trying anything risky. Let me repeat that. If you want to do the short pass, that's fine, Tony. There we go. And there we have it. Well, it's Cristiano Ronaldo's lovely header. And uh, we've got a massive three points. Didn't expect to come to Germany and get anything. To come away with all three. Massive. Did we deserve it? I guess we did. The chances weren't great for either side, to be honest. Gabby really struggled to get involved at all. He's going to come away with a man of the man of the match. Did we score a... How is that even possible? That's mental. That's meant. How? We didn't score and we didn't assist. We had three shots, none of them on target. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Unless... Hang on. That is Matt. Weird. Well, fine. We'll take it. No, actually, that is really weird. So, match day five in the group stage, and that is a big, big win. It means now, if Besiktas don't manage to beat us by more than two goals, then we stay second in the group. Really, really important one there. Gabby with 15 and 18. It's not flowing quite as well as it did at City, to be honest. We were scoring more goals early on there. We're such an incredibly highly rated player now. It's an absolute dream. So, very interesting turn of events here. We're on the bench for this game. I guess it's probably just form. Really did think we were undroppable, though. Take a look. We're only at 91% manager trust level. I don't know if we've... I thought we got to 100. I'm guessing. If 
we take a look at the game plan that we're on poor form, it must be short. Oh, that's weird. That's weird for Benzema to be starting. I know we're on a bit of a bit of a drought, but to be dropped like that is incredible. I suppose Ronaldo on the bench as well, but at least his form is poor. That's that's a very odd turn of events. Well, I'm not going to play that one, and uh, I think I will just skip forward now, get to the Atletico Madrid game, the big derby. Right, let's get these two played, and I'll be back in a minute. So skip forward we did, and unfortunately it did not go well. <sighs> Bill Bauer, obviously we started on the bench. We did get to come on. Gabby was lively, but... Ultimately couldn't influence the game. It's a nil-nil there. And then another draw away to Levante. This one really hurt. Gabby missed two massive chances before eventually getting the equalising goal. And then after that, Real Madrid just simply were not able to create the number of opportunities needed. And the bad form in the league continues. It's getting a little bit depressing now. And we're going to have to pull something out of the bag against our cross-city rivals. Uh, we are still second in the league. Only five points off Barca. And Gabby still got the old golden boots sewn up. Can he get his hat-trick of golden boots? Two in the Premier League. One in La Liga. Well, he's sort of going in the right direction, but goals have dried up recently, as we've seen. Let's go and take a look at the sides. So, big chat here from Mr. Likeable Sergio Ramos. Some non committal nodding there. They look fired. They don't look fired up, do they? This isn't going to go well. They're in poor form. Let's see how Gabby's doing for form. Oh, good. Actually, everyone looking pretty decent. Kovacic on the left. Obviously, we've got to go up against the appropriately named God in. Because he is the god in terms of defending, as far as I'm concerned. And we've got to keep out Griezmann on the other end, which is never an easy task. Okay, let's go. Here we are for one of the most famous games in Spanish football. It's the Madrid derby. First played in 1928, a game that Real Madrid did win. Since then, well, Real Madrid have won nearly double the games of their cross-town rivals. Cross-city rivals, I should say. But Madrid in recent years obviously have been a, a much, much better side than they were for a time. And uh, today, the teams are very, very evenly matched. Gabby needs to find his shooting boots. A bit of that consistency he showed at Manchester City at the beginning of his time here at Madrid. Without that, I think Real might struggle to win this one. Gabby isolated here. Looking for the run of Visco. Oh, lovely turn of pace away from Savic. Finds Kovacic. Gabby wants it back in. Not a great ball. Into the gloves of Moya. Good work, though, from Gabby. Gabby now just trying to take up the space in between the midfield and the centre-backs. And he does, and he receives the ball. And slip one in here. That's moved on well. Kovacic now inside to Gabby. He's away from that man. Hits it with the left. Oof. Probably needed to go across goal, but he's managed to win it back here. Kovacic. Oh, that's good work from him. Let's keep hold of it. Ball will come back out. He can slip that through to Gabby, surely. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Vieto lays it off to Sal. This is nice play here from Atletico Madrid. Neither side really on top, I wouldn't say. Everyone making mistakes. It's been a very cagey first half. It's nearly over here. Will Griezmann get a chance to finish the half? He's got ahead of Ramos. What a shot. What a save. Ward follows up. <laughs> and we've uh, got away with it there. Only just, though. And it is going to be half time here. And that was not comfortable for either side. Oh, actually, it felt like no one had created chances. But the stats say that Rui Vittoria is Atletico Madrid. Gabby not involved. Real Madrid again not clicking. Zidane has got a lot of work to do in the changing rooms. Luca Hernandez now, brother of Theo, loses out but Ward keeps it moving. Now Sal into the substitute. Gamero, he's going to somehow wriggle his way through. We get away with it. Nice ball inside from Asensio. Can be no real options. Can he steamroll through here? His sliding tackle is a late one and a frustrated one from a man not in a good spell of form at all. He gets a yellow card for a tackle on Lucas Hernandez. <sighs> Deary me. Things are going from bad to worse in this game for Real Madrid. Gabby in the book. He's going to Gabby. He's got two Atletico Madrid defenders to take on. Neither of which you really want to have to go up against. But he <laughs> works the shooting opportunity. And that's really unlucky. First flash of brilliance there from the uh, leading scorer in La Liga. Steps away from Godin and then inside of Savic. Works the shooting opportunity. It took a great fingertip save to deny him. Can we get something from this corner, though? Gabby again, just trying to find a little bit of space. Isco with the header on, and we're up. Big, big header there from the young attacking midfielder. Probably not that young anymore, actually. But still, just about, I'd say, one of this new generation of Galacticos, of which Gabby is one, of which Asensio, who plays today, is another. And Isco has had a difficult few games, as has Gabby. I think it's connected, I would say, definitely connected, as they've started all the games. 
It's a bit like Jack Whitehall there. But he's risen in a way that I'm sure Jack Whitehall isn't able. Though he's not bad, actually. He's quite a good footballer from what I've seen. But anyway, Isco getting the goal. Jack Whitehall not involved. Gabby now. He can grab the second to make this one safe. Can make himself a hero. A ball is whipped in. It's a good header away. Gabby now having to do the target man job on his own. Oh, he's away from two there with ease. And then he shows electric pace. To get into the box. Oh, oh it's fallen to him. Oh, wow. Well, sometimes you just need a little bit of luck, a little bit of fortune. But as they say, you make your own luck in this world. And Gabby certainly did there. He was given the duty of just holding it up. The out ball was to Gabby. He was the only one up, up the pitch. But he showed electric pace to get anywhere near to Atletico Madrid box. And it's uncharacteristic defensive errors there from a couple of the Atletico Madrid players. Hernandez makes the mistake and then it comes all the way through. Savage doesn't react. It's a good finish in the end. Gabby gets his goal and hopefully all three points should be ours. Oh, Gabby reads that well. And now we can slip through Gareth Bale. Can we get a third here? Simple ball inside to Gabby. Oh, and that's lovely. That is absolutely gorgeous. Just delayed the finish. And uh, within five minutes, Real Madrid have made it 3-0 to the shock of the Atleti fans who, I'm sure, felt that their side was the better side in the first half. Certainly, coming out in the second, they had chances. It's been a flurry of goals here. And Gabby grabs his second. Did well to win it back. Bale in a lot of space. We haven't had these sort of spaces in games. Atletico Madrid obviously having to push up to try and get the goal. He just delayed that finish and then swept it home on his weaker foot. That's excellent centre-forward play. Gareth Bale, unselfish. The simple things done right. And Gabby just had the pace to uh, ease away from the defenders. And wait for the uh, goalkeeper to commit. And then finish nicely. Gamero. Oh, that's a great tackle. Asensio. And then smart play just to knock it back. Gabby, lovely glancing header. Into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. He's taken out cynically there. Oh, oh that's a fucking joke. Right. Match fixing. It's got to be. Ronaldo into Gabby. It's for the 1-2. Gabby really wants that hat trick. This game nearly over. Isco into Gabby. Away from Savic. Has to push it wide into Bale. Oh, little back heel flick. Doesn't quite find Gabby. And that's going to be full time here. And what a game this has been for Gabby Goal and for Atletico Madrid. We really needed this game. And there it is, 3-0. We really needed a win today. Look how much it means to Theo Hernandez playing against his brother as well. As a brother myself, I know that would add definitely an extra 10% excitement. Beating not only your crosstown rival, but also your brother in one game. And what a game this has been for Gabby and for Real Madrid. As I said at the beginning, we really, really needed a win today. Not just for Gabby's confidence but also for the confidence of Real Madrid who have been stuttering in recent games but a win like this against your rival club in a massive massive derby especially away from home as well means so much and I'm sure it means so much to our confidence Atletico Madrid had a lot of chances in that first half but in the second well when they came to Gabby he did not falter he finished and he will be now I'm sure a proper Real Madrid hero Scoring two goals in a derby like this will have you remembered by these fans for a long time to come. So there we go. And also, not only three goals, but a useful three points in the league. Five points still behind Barca. Three points now ahead of Betis. And that will see us uh, move four points ahead of Atletico Madrid. Lovely work. Lovely work. And the games are adding up now. 15 games in. We're still well in it. We've got to win the league this year. We've got to win Gabby a league title. But I think Gabby's got to get that goal scoring up. That average rating at 6.6 .6 is a little low. It's bang on his average career rating. It's been higher than that. Definitely been higher. And we want to get a goal a game for his whole career. That's got to be it's got to be our aim for this series. It's probably unlikely at this point, though. So there we are. Well, what a game to finish this episode for the uh, final five weeks of this series format. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're not too gutted that you're not going to get another video with Gabby in until next Wednesday, unless he's playing against Arsenal, which could actually, I think, actually is happening in Master League Story Mode. So you could go and see him there, probably on Monday, I think it is. Definitely worth joining me for the next episode, as we do have Dynamo Zagreb in a must-win Champions League group stage game. We've got to win that to ensure we make our way out of the group, and then we may well 
play a few more games. I guess we'd like to win the cup, but that's not too exciting. There's a lot of particularly boring games before we get to El Clasico, the first El Clasico of Gabby's time at Real Madrid. It's one that we uh, have been definitely looking forward to. Depends how much time I've got. If I've got the time, I might play all of these games. If not, we might just play Severe in the next one. We'll see how I get on with that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Good to see Gabby getting back on scoring form. That takes him five goals ahead of Luis Suarez in the league and uh, should fill him with confidence for the massive game coming up against Zagreb. I'll see you in a bit.